Good afternoon. We have another bedans in our midst this afternoon. Um, well, it's afternoon now. Um, we have a fashion designer and a stylist, GMA7, to name a few. Um, well, he's doing some running shows right now in GMA7, uh, All Out Sundays, uh, Catch Me, Out Philippines, and Daig Kayo ng Lola Ko. Yung ngayon pa lang yan, ha? Mami, I will ask him for the other shows that he did in the past. And then as a designer, he has um, he has uh, already dressed up um, artists like Julian San Jose of GMA7, of course, Alden Richards, and even Jose Manalo. Later on, we'll ask him also who are, who are the other celebrities and society figures that uh, Julius has already dressed up. Now, Julius, bati mo na. Hi, Kata, and hi, fellow Bedan. Oh, so Hello. Julius is a graduate of uh, San Beda High School class, 1988. And right. after high school, you took interior design at St. Scholastica's College. What made yeah. you decide to pursue a career in fashion de- as a fashion designer instead of practicing your craft as an interior designer? Well, first of all, those two are my loves. So, during school in St. Paul, I have a boss uh, who lives uh, three blocks away, and he's a fashion director. Mm. So, in between breaks, I would go to his place and work. And then from there, I met models, I met the designers uh, for their clothes, their creations. And from then, I I want to become a fashion designer. Yun. So, yun ang nag-start ng passion mo for fashion. Yes. Talagang, siguro, you could say I'm the biggest fan no? of Filipino designers mm-hmm. and I was still uh, in school. Yun. Then, how will you describe your line as a fashion designer? Meron ka bang clients na bedans o asawa ng mga bedans? Well, usually, ang line ko talaga are I like tailor in classic lines. Uh, modern, uh, yun yung nage empower sa uh, wearer. So that's technically my line. But I can do also wedding gown, hmm. food, stuff like that. So, mm-hmm. uh, may so mga clients regards, bang bedans? Meron naman, meron naman. Mga kabatch ko, thank you. Ang mga anak nila. Yun, meron naman. Mga, ano, mga asawa meron din. Rin, may nagawang ka na ba, Julius, na wedding ng mga kabatch mo? Kabatch ko, uh, it's more of the groom. Uh, groom ah, yes, the groom. Yung kabatch mo, o yun sa lalaki. Oo. And uh, then, um, whom have you dressed up? Aside from the ones specified earlier, whom had, have you dressed up among our celebrities and society figures? And how do you handle them in terms of their intricate taste in fashion? Well, I dressed up the good. Yeah, so Philippines, nila sila Maria Rodriguez, mm-hmm. the region Velasquez, Solen Yusuf, and then sa uh, international naman sila Diana Ratore, yes. Jasmine Trick. And then, uh, just to name a few. So, how do I handle stress? Well, basically, I'm, I'm just a good listener and just follow their uh, requirements and then study their body type, their lifestyle, the purpose of the the garment, what it is for, and that's it. Tapos paano mo hinahandle yung mga mother-in-law? Mothers and mothers-in-law. So yung mothers and mother-in-law, especially during weddings, I know this. Mm-hmm. They're, of course, excited that anak nila, and they want to be always beautiful and always looking sexy. Mm-hmm. And yun na naman the mother figure, diba? You have to hide something. So you just have to flatter them. And then, that's just a key, you know? As what I said, you just listen and then just make them feel beautiful and uh, matutuwa na yun sa'yo. Oh, yun, naman yun naman ang business. Yun naman ang business mo, eh, diba? To make them look beautiful, diba? Uh, anyway, eh, oh, ito yun eh. Kaya oh. sila nagpatahin yung pakostom eh. Kasi nga, gusto nila, they want something special. Oh, oh. So, this past years, hindi na lang fashion design ang tinatahak ng career mo. 
you have added fashion styling as part of your resume. So, ano ang pagkakaiba ng pagiging fashion designer at fashion stylist? Okay, fashion designer, well, two aspects niya. You as a fashion designer, ano ba yung gusto mo na project sa tao? Ano bang line mo? But I said a while ago, yun nga yung line ko, I like a tailored one, I like yung clean line, classic, yung many power men, yun yung mga, and modern. Yun yung line ko. So, when I joined Philippine Fashion Week, yun yung pinakita ko which is the other side of me. Because if clients naman kasi come to me, this is always for the wedding, barong, food. These are, should we say, occasional dresses. Mm-hmm. Uh, these are classic uh, pieces na maganda rin naman na kaya ko rin gawin yun. But that's why when I do fashion shows, I really get excited because they see the jewelry style in my collection. So, ano yung pagkakaiba naman bilang stylist? The stylist naman is that you study the person from head to toe. Uh, what is his or her branding? So, you have to be careful also na who are you dressing up? So, for example, there is a concert of uh, a major singer. You have to study uh, the song. You have to study her choreography. You have to study the lighting and the color and the staging. Mm-hmm. So, so if it's proportion enough, if the shoe fit, the the garment, if the hair fits the full look, and then the accessories, that's how you make her fit for the requirement that uh, she's asking. So, ma- mas mabusisi ba ang styling kaysa fashion design? Pareho silang mabusisi, but in just different disciplines. Uh, uh, for, uh, for example, uh, in fashion designing, uh, you also take, the, the client also asks me what kind of jewelry fits this, what kind mm-hmm. of hairstyle, what kind of shoes. But that garment is something I made that, that is for her personality, from my own point of view. Mm-hmm. In point of styling, there's a certain requirement, as what I've said. So if this artist brand, let's say, avant-garde or let's say classic or let's say K-pop mm-hmm. or boy store, you have to uh, really follow a certain uh, look for them and then with a specific uh, requirement fulfill his brand. Okay. Sa mga sa mga na sa mga na mention ko na kanina, yun yung current earring, di ba? Meron ka pang ibang ginawa eh. I know that. Uh, marami ka pang nagawa ng projects. Ano ano yung mga TV shows, concert, uh, commercial, yeah, that, and uh, yeah. ano pa ba? films, both as a fashion designer and stylist. Did you ever plan that this would be the career that you would really pursue? And with regard to the uh, former shows from Major League, it's like Father Philippines, Father Filipinas, Major uh, 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 Marian, and then the Pina Master. Concerts, concerts. I know there are some concerts. And then, the concerts, naman, uh, it's more of a TV concert. Kasi. So mm-hmm. it's, like a, it's more of like a New Year countdown. Mm-hmm. more of the like special mga yun. Tapos meron ka pang ginawang billboard, di ba, for Dayanara, di ba? The billboard for Dayanara, oh. for, uh, ito, uh, <laughs> nag-rewind ako eh, medyo matagal Julius, na rin. Julius, uh, the reason I'm asking this is kasi I want the bed, the bedans to know that there's a, ju- there's Julius Tarog who does all these things. Kasi kayong stylist, you're the unsung heroes eh ng mga artista. Kaya yung nasa likuran. Di ba? So, it, it has to be known. It has to be known by our bedans, uh, both students and graduates, that there's somebody who takes care of these people who look good on camera or look good on stage. Di ba? Kasi baka akala ng iba, confined lang ang fashion sa paggawa ng damit. Maraming facets. Di ba? Maraming facets. Marami. Uh, not really easy. Uh. Pero literally, 
hihingan kita ng ano ha, ng mga details mo para kung may mga gusto magpagawa sa bandang dulo yun. Okay? So, tapos, um, sa trabaho mo ba, would you say na may influence ang bedan education mo sa pang-araw-araw na ginagawa mo? Meron ka bang sinusunod na med- bedan mantra sa trabaho mo? Oo. Oh, Siyempre, um, high school ako nun eh. So, I was, I was, we were taught na beginning uh, a subject, magdadasal ka, after a subject, you want to pray. So, everything, bago magsimula or at, at the end, I always try to pray. That, uh, I always say that, uh, that in all things, God will be glorified, just thanking Him for His blessing and for this guidance. Siguro yun yung training na nakuha ko no? in high school na beginning and end of the world, you should okay. always be thankful. Uh-huh. Then, Julius, who do you look up to in the world of fashion? May influence ba siya sa sa'yo? Sila o siya o sa'yo? Oh, like this Van Houten, like uh, Yoji Yamamoto. Mm-hmm. Ako si Dr. Pilipinas, gusto ko yan. Sila Yoji Loren. Mm-hmm. So, meron ba silang influence sa, sa, iyong, sa iyong aesthetics? Oo, kasi parang, as what I said, I like modern cut and then, and then may pagka-romantic na rin. So, these are good references for me na, na, ano yun, na to develop myself into a better designer. How do you handle stress? Katulad nito, galing ka sa meeting, di ba? Sabi mo, anong ano yung utak mo, di ba? Medyo stressful, di ba? Oh. Kahit ganyan, akala mo, akala mo sosyal, akala mo ay faluting pero stressful ang trabaho, di ba? How do you handle it? How do you handle stress? How I handle stress? And guro um the normal um it's kind of difficult because I handle it in different ways. Mm-hmm. First uh no wala pang covid I uh, technically like to travel. Mm-hmm. So These challenges, this work that I get, I always think I will go to this, to this, to this, and to that, to them. Mm-hmm. So for me to overcome it, I always think of destination, and then I will just work on this, do my best, and then I'll go to this destination. Ine so enjoy mo na rin. Oh, I, uh, I get this inspiration because TV stress is really different. Ah, uh, wala siyang bukas o lang mamaya. It's now. So, yun, makapagod siya. Pero important, the most important thing is enjoy every moment of it and magkamali and then sabi, do we go to that again and then ano, learning, good learning. Yeah. Do, you, do you believe in our mantra in fashion that we are only as good as our last show? Ay, oo. Oh, oh, kasi because That one, you've done it already, and you push yourself to your best. And then when you saw your creation, it's a different smile, a different uh, feeling, and then you challenge yourself again. What? So you know, so I believe that. So parang parang hindi repetitive. So you need to And then um, at this point of your career. What legacy would you like to impart to the next generation of fashion designers and stylists? I think the next legacy, um, I don't know. I, I don't think I'm still a legend. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> oh, but siguro na lang, based on my experience, uh, I always believe that you, know, you still go back to your roots. You still go back to where you come from. And then, and love and live it. Uh, so, yung mga, so, as a designer, you should always have great respect to the past. So, that's why, uh, uh, siguro, that's why I said modern, kunyate, abarong Tagalog, you just modernize it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's internal, you just modernize it. But still, with great respect. 
to the masters to the past. Okay, if I, I, if I may just add, no, Julius, Diba, you've, you've done shows in New York, Canada, uh, and in Laos. Aside from that, meron pa bang ibang lugar na napag-showhan mo na? Yun yung international. Mm, well, international. Uh, well, sa Philippines, uh, yes, those three I did. Uh, so, every time I do that, I always input Philippine influence, like with material. Then mm-hmm. yeah, and modernized And then, dito naman, I did the Philippine Fashion Week mm-hmm. for a long time. Mm-hmm. And it's a good learning curve for me as a fashion designer in making a collection. I learned mm-hmm. a lot from that. Yeah. Julius, ang tanong ko, ilang seasons ka na bali sumasali sa Lao Fashion Week? Oh, ilang seasons, I think, naka uh, third season na ako representing the Philippines. Third season. So, ano yun naman niya tutunan mo from that experience in Laos na pwede mong dalhin dito sa Pilipinas? Okay. Iba kasi ang international fashion show. And usually, you bring the flag. Mm-hmm. So, in bringing the flag, you must always think of the best for your country. Then second is yourself. So, you make sure na you present something that the country will be proud of. And so far, the embassy of uh, Lao has been very positive to the collection that I did. And then uh, I'm so happy also with the expats and the people living in Europe and the diplomats mm-hmm. that they appreciate the collection that I did. So, uh, mas pa, meron, na, meron namang orders. Meron namang... Orders from... Sa US ba, New York lang? Di ba nag-show ka pa sa ibang lugar? Well, sa New York lang. Ako ah, sa New York lang ba yun? Uh, it yeah. was uh, summer. Uh, for Pinoy Week in Manhattan. O, oh, ito sa Canada din, no? Sa Canada yeah. sa Edmund. To present it again sa Philippines. Ayun. Pero doon met na naman yung ginamit. Ayun. Sa so, modern... Uh, Julius, ano naman ang mensahe? Kasi pinapanood, mapapanood ito eh. Okay, kung, kung gagawa ako ng write-up, mababasa doon ang mga students and er, yung mga batang graduates, no? Binibigay din sa kanila yung newsletter for free. So, ano naman ang mensahe mo sa kanila? Both students and graduates na gustong pasukan ng mundo ng fashion design and styling. Okay. Well, first of all, in any work that you plan to do, you must be passionate to it. And then, If you really want it, if you have this dream, then go push for it. Kasi, din eh, it will hunt you at the end of the day. So, just go and do and then, and then make Filipino also part of that dream na pa-uplift natin yung Philippine fashion. Judith, nung high so, school, nung high school ka ba sa San Beda, did you first see this, that eventually you will be part of Philippine fashion. Was there any so. a sign? Was there any sign na na so, papasok? Ano? Puro drawing ng mga ano-ano. I just like clothes at that time. Yung mga things na mga kanyari sa mga beauty contest, sa mga Miss Universe. Ah, 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 ah. Um, I like those glam a lot. So doon ako medyo na-expose una-una. Sa glamour world. So, hindi ka nagtataka na pinasok mo to eventually ngayon? Okay. Yung nga sinasabi ko kanina dun sa message ko. No? Kasi una, para nagkaroon pa kang denial, lagi ko mo na interior design. But, still haunted me to become a fashion designer. So, eventually, kahit anong mangyari, at the end of the day, it turned out to be what I want. So, yun lang yun eh. Kasi, just pursue your dream. Kasi iba yung feeling na na-achieve mo yung dream na yun. And then, eventually, mag- ano na yun? Okay. Just... So, uh, syempre nga, sabi ko nga, nababasa ito at napapanood ng mga younger generation, no? Would you like to inform them of your any platforms na pwede ka nilang makontact for anything? Baka may order dyan ng damit o gusto magpatulong sa'yo. Would you like to... Uh-huh specify your media 
yung mga social media platforms mo para lang makontak ka nila? Everyone. Of course, no? everyone needs to Facebook and then Instagram. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, and just DM me or message me to you, Taro, to both uh, FB and Instagram. Walang, walang underscore. Walang underscore. Diretso lang. Julius Tarog. Uh, I will just answer any any questions you want. Saka kasi the age of now, parang mamandali ka agad makilala eh. Mm. The age of Parang they don't have this patience. And then achieving a dream is not really easy. You know, you have to work for it. It's not just a one click. So you have to work hard. Yun lang. Yun lang yung for me. Any other message? Message to everyone, to our fellow Bedans? Oh, fellow Bedans. Oh, uh, thank you for uh, being part. Uh, ko, you know, the humble beginnings, the humility that I learned, and then the discipline. And then thank you, you know, for being God-fearing. And for fellow Bedans, ang sabi ko niya, I'm so uh, proud to wear red anywhere I go Daniela, because it made me who I am now and uh, you know, 